King James Bible, the book of Psalms, chapter 107. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of, the, out of their distress. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron because they rebelled against the words of God and count, contaminated the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. They cried unto the Lord their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in sunder. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distress. He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters. These see the works of the Lord, and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distress. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then they are glad, because they are quiet, so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. O oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness, and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into standing water, and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields and plant vineyards which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and sorrowth not their cattle to decrease. Again they are ministered and brought low through the oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes, and causeth him to wander in the wilderness, where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction, and maketh him families like a flock. The righteousness shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and, with, and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Chapter 108 O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will wake, er, awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that the that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. God hath spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem. I will met out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is, is the strength of my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast out my shoe. Over Philistia will I triumph. Who will I bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt, wilt not thou, O God, who cast us off? And wilt not thou, O God, go forth with our hosts? 
Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of the man, of him, of man. Though God, we shall do through God, we shall do valiantly for He, for He it is that shall tread down our enemies. Chapter one hundred nine. <clears throat> Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with thy lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred, and fought against me without a cause. For in my love they are my adversaries, but I will give myself unto prayer. <coughs> and they have rewarded me evil for good, and hated my for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let the children be continually vagabonds, and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of the desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let this... <clears throat> let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of the, his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because he that remembered not to shew mercy. Because he that remembered not... Uh, sorry. Because he that... Because that he remembered not to shew mercy, he but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him, as he delighted not in, in blessing, so let it be far from him, as he clothed himself with cursing like as he was with garment, so let it come into the bowels like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the Lord, and let them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God the Lord, for my name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth for fatness, or of fatness. I also... I became also a reproach unto them. When they looked up upon me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God, or save me according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, and that thou, Lord, has done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, and let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries, let mine adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor, to save him from those that condemn his soul. Chapter 110 The Lord, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the mount morning thou hast the dew of thy youth the lord hath sworn sworn the lord hath sworn and will not repent thou art a priest forever after the order of mechaldeja the lord in thy right hand the lord at thy right hand shall shake through kings in the day of his wrath he shall judge among the heathen he shall fill the places with the dead bodies he shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore he shall lift up the head. Chapter 111 Praise ye the Lord, I will praise the Lord with my whole heart, in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought of all them that have the pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He hath ever be mindful of his covenant. 
He has shewed his people the power of his works, that they may give him the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Chapter 112 Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man sheweth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he will not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he, he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away the desire of the wicked shall perish. Chapter 113 Praise ye the Lord. Praise, ye, o, pr praise o ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down the same of the same of the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high, who humble himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house, and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Chapter 114 When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange language, Judah was in his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O, the, o thou sea, that thou fleddest? Thou Jordan, that thou wast driven back, ye mountains that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into standing water, the flint into a, a fountain of waters. 